Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Takeru and welcome to this let's play of Doki Doki Literature Club, I think it's pronounced. If I uh, mispronounced it, I have my uh, beautiful assistant with me today. Present yourself. Uh, hello. <laughs> I, I'm Momo and uh, yeah, we're going to play this uh, game together because we thought it would be a great experience. It's just and, because uh, it's, uh, Momo is afraid to play this game, see, race quitting and stuff no, like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> not, not at all. <laughs> it's a very sweet game. So, um, yeah. So, um, I have never played it before. I've heard a little about it. And um, the reason why I also have uh, Momo uh, playing this with me is because what I know of there is a lot of reading in this game. And we all know how good I am at that. <laughs> so... <laughs> She will mostly read, uh, I think she will actually read all the female voices and I will read the protagonist's yes. voice thing. Um, yep. And uh, we are going to do it like we did when we played um, Long Live the Queen a long time ago. Actually, we should get back to that game one day. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Um, mostly because we never completed it. <laughs> so, um, so we will do it like that. And the only uh, difference is this time around is um, I will be making the choices apparently. Yeah. So, let's see how horrible I am at that. <laughs> we'll probably die halfway through and I don't even know if we can do that. <laughs> well, if we can, we certainly will. <laughs> yes. So, with that... Um... Yeah, um, so there's a disclaimer and I'm just quickly going to read it because it's actually kind of important for this game. So, this game is not suitable for children or those who are e easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. So yeah, it's a <laughs> it's one of those games. Playing uh, by playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least thirteen years of age and you consent to exposure of highly disturbing content. But only by playing. If you're viewing and you're not thirteen <laughs> years old, then um, not our fault. <laughs> Not suitable for children! This game is suitable for children <laughs> and those who are easily disturbed. So... And uh, first off, I love the music. It's so cute! <laughs> so this is gonna be a fun experience. I actually like the art style. I know, right? So what should we call ourselves? Since uh, uh, in... you are the protagonist. Please so... enter your name. And the protagonist is male, so... Ah, oh, my legs! <laughs> uh, I have to enter something, you know. Um... <laughs> you can. Um, I just uh, finished watching um, uh, South High Fractured But Whole. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're the new kid. <laughs> we're the new kid in the block. <laughs> Righto. Why did you fall out with uh, Ratchet Kiru? Probably. <clears throat> okay, so um, I have to figure out voices. I will probably figure them out better when we get along. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> hey. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is uh, Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'll ne uh, you never uh, see yourself making today, but it just kind of worked out because we know each other. Uh, for so long, we used to uh, that. <laughs> we used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk. And let Sayori catch up. And let Sayori catch up to me. Ha <laughs> ha! I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe. Uh, no, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, new <laughs> kid. They should probably have changed the color of the background so mm. you know who it is. But maybe. well, maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Hey. <laughs> You say that, but you were thinking about... Ah, you said like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, you kid. 
Well, <laughs> oh god, that name it gave us. <laughs> That's gonna be fun now. Well, if people stare at you uh, for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we are a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become uh, increasingly sparkled with other students making their daily uh, commute. By the way, new kid, have you decided on a club to join yet? A uh, club? I told you already, I really don't interest. I'm really not interested in joining in clubs. I haven't been looking either. Yeah, that's not true. You told me you would want uh, you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. But one of our many conversations where I uh, dismissively uh, where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sherry likes to worry a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content uh, just getting uh, by on Amit while spending my free time on games and anime. Aha! Uh -huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't uh, learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a need in a few years because you, uh, you're you not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make, uh, make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Well, at least promise me you'll try a little. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if, even if she does exaggerates everything inside of her head. The school day is ordinary as, every, uh, as ever, and is over before I knew it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for, looking for an ounce of motivation. Ounce, sorry. <laughs> clubs. So he wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello. Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while we were spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch, uh, catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you even you even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me. It's if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. You know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, Mini. Sayori is vice president of the literary, literary club. Literature. <laughs> Literature. God dang it. Not that I want. <laughs> not that I. Uh, not that I was ever aware that he had any uh, interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure. She only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That's it. My interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. 
Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead. Or if, she, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine. I stopped by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. Let's go. It's a B. <laughs> and thus, today makes the day a soul for soul for a cupcake. <laughs> I dejectedly followed Sayuri across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year's class and activities. Sayuri, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member, a new kid. <laughs> uh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Ah, uh, Sayori, <clears throat> Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, new kid. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Uh. All words except <laughs> all wo all words except me in this situation. Escape. What? Oh, escape! <laughs> all words escape me in this situation. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Uh, s s sorry. That's a key. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she's moody. Sayori says that uh, quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyways, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appear, uh, appears completely more mature and tempt, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Yuri and Natsumi. Natsuki, sorry. Oh well. <clears throat> sorry. Oh well, it's nice to meet you both. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, new kid. Monica smells sweetly. Smiles. Smiles. God fucking dang it. <laughs> <laughs> well, smells too. <coughs> we do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so generously feels a little... You... Too, Monica. Come, sit down, new kid. <coughs> new kid. <laughs> we made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me and Monica. Ah, uh, me or Monica. <laughs> I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few discs arranged in front of a table. As Yuri uh, mentioned, it's been it's been weeded 
widened. Widened. It's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsumi, uh, Natsuki and Yuri uh, walk over to the count, uh, corner of the room when Natsuki <laughs> grabs a rabbit tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki uh, proudly mat, uh, marches back to the table, tray, tray in hand. Uh. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes, decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with it, 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 uh, icing. <laughs> And little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Hehe, <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Zero grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I turn the cocker around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glance in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. <laughs> why are you talking with him up? <laughs> why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. <laughs> uh, I thought you technically did. So you said. Well, maybe. But not for you. No, you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. You return to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep uh, a whole... <laughs> You're too fast! Sorry! You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the tea just gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help enjoy a good book? Uh, uh I, I guess. Hehehe, <laughs> don't let yourself get intim intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Yeah, that, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean, that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri finally smiles to herself <clears throat> in relief. I faintly, oh sorry. <laughs> Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature cup? Um, I was afraid of that Christian. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was particularly dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined in clubs yet. And Sayori, Sayori seems really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. 
It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity um, and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take some something that I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is really a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school uh, school events like, fest uh, like the festival so much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate graduate right everyone yeah we'll do our best you know it everyone enthusiastically agrees such different girls all interested in the same girl monica must have worked really hard just to find those three maybe that's why we are uh, they were all so deluded by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with the level of enthusiasm about literature. <clears throat> so new kid, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I would have cried it to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly peeks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. You tracks her rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usual, uh, usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them are amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems to reserve an timid, reserved and timid sense the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so uh, can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. I read a horror book once. <laughs> I desperately get something I can't relate. I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. The real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh. I hate horror. Huh? What's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dug over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about kid things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind at last club meeting. 
it looks like you were uh, working on a poem called Don't say it out loud and give that back. Fine, fine. Hehehe, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. <laughs> Saru sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why did you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them with someone? Uh, with sometimes. Uh, oh. No. Natsuki avoids, uh, abats her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The trust, uh, the truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experiences too, Yuri? Maybe you could share some of your work. You can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Yeah. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aww, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea everyone. Eh? Natsuki and Yuri look quis uh, quis 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 quizzically <laughs> wow. at Monica. New word for me too. <laughs> Let's all go home and write poems of our own. The next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, uh, yeah, let's do it. Plus, uh, plus, plus. <laughs> now that we have a new member, I think it will be, uh, it will help us all getting a, uh, help help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, new kid? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Yeah, what's that? Now that we're back at the original topic of me joining the club, I'll bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Siri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and um I lost my train of thought. All four girls stares back at me with dejected eyes. But I'm sorry I thought. <laughs> you could <laughs> you all are defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the piece uh, I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes lighten up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sarah wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you, uh, if you really just came for cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks. I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. 
New kid, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can I really impress the class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, new kid! Since we, uh, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Yuri and I never walk home together anymore, because she always stays after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the classroom and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wandered back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monika. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the little school clubs? club? <laughs> Perhaps we'll, we'll have a chance to grow class, closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick the words you want uh, your favorite... Uh, pick the words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay. So, uh, this is the part where it's a good saving point. Because it's kind of the thing to the next chapter. Well, then we will apparently <laughs> end this episode here. We are also going on for about a half an hour. So that's kind of a nice place to stop. Yep. So yeah. We are looking forward to see what the horrible monstrosity rewrite of uh, fan fiction here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say except um, it went well for reading stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of reading, um, but uh, I think it evens it out that you don't have to read the girls also. <laughs> yeah, but I think actually the girls and my character say almost the same amount of things. So I think you said the most in this part, but I think it's because the introductions and stuff. Maybe. So, uh, me butchering names and stuff. <laughs> I forgot the K all the time. It's alright. But, um, yeah, with that, I don't think there's any more. No. Well, okay. then we'll end this off here. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So, until next time. Farewell. Mm -hmm.